the thing on ice and roll it all around. Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you. And this is what? Victory Monday. Wow. Victory Monday. When was the last time we were able to say Victory Monday? Hmm. Cowboys had four straight losses, um, which ended up being two and seven. When was the last time we were able to say Victory Monday? I feel like all my videos week to week have been <laughs> hangover Mondays. But, you know, it's it's finally glad to have a Victory Monday. And I know some of the fans, I don't know why these fans feel this way. Um, but you're entitled to your opinion, whatever. Um, they want to tank. And I'm like, because they want the fourth pick in a draft or the third pick in a draft for what exactly? Because you're not getting a quarterback. You already got Dak Prescott. What do you need a quarterback for? I mean, all the Cowboys are going to do if they have a high pick, only thing they would do is trade back, get more picks, even though we already have 12, we got 12 picks already. So what do you want? 25 picks. You're not going to utilize all those players anyway. So just understand that like, you should want your team to win all the time. You want your team to be competitive. Because if you make it to the playoffs, you never know what your team could do. Never count your team out. You don't know what they're going to do. There's been teams in the past that, that have gotten in the playoffs with, with lesser records than other teams and actually went and won the big game. So, you know, I'm not saying that the Cowboys can or will, but I'm but I'm saying that you can't count them out. This team is playing better. This defense is playing hungry. Um, we got rid of the guys that didn't want to be here anymore. Um, they're gelling. They're doing. They're understanding the playbooks better. So as time progresses, this defense is getting better. Um, in this particular game, you know the Cowboys won it, eked it out, 31-28. Nobody thought that that was going to be be the game. I, I said that hey. You know, if the Cowboys win, I'd be excited, but I didn't, I didn't never anticipated them to win this game. I know the Vikings was going to be hard because of Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, um, Justin Jefferson. And yes, all three of those guys made plays and they scored. So, um, just, just some, some, um, quick things from the game. So Dallas got their first road win of the year, um, with this game. And now you look at the schedule going forward. The hardest team that we play against going forward is going to be the Ravens. Every other game after that is completely winnable because the 49ers, they, they're even more um, of a farce of a farce than the Dallas Cowboys. They got even more injuries than our team does. So outside of the 49, then you look at the Bengals. Uh, God, sucks for Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow got injured and, you know, they're going to be probably easier team to beat now, too. So you look at the Bengals, you look at the 49ers and the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens can be beat, too, but that's going to be your hardest team going forward. Everybody else has losing records because you're playing against the, the rest of the year against your own division. So they should be able to get some get some games in here. And again, they're still in the runnings to, to win a division. It's not it's not over yet. Cowboys are now three and seven. And after that win. This team is really excited right now. You look at these players, they're ready to go. They are ready. They're not giving up. So if the players are not giving up, why are we giving up? Um, in the game, Dalvin Cook had 115 yards rushing. Kirk Cousins went 73.3 um, um, percentage and 314 yards passing and three touchdowns. Of course, that was to Thielen, um, Jefferson, and, and um, Cook. <laughs> um Cowboys defense um, recovered two fumble, two fumble recoveries, and both of those were were caused by Donovan Wilson. Donovan Wilson came to play, guys. He came to play in this game. Now there were some miscues on special teams that I missed because I didn't get a chance to see everything in the game. Because by the time I actually saw the game, um, it was closer to it was like in the second quarter. Um, but yeah, so. Donovan Wilson played hard. That that hard hit he had on Dalvin Cook in the middle of the field jarred that ball loose. Um, Jalen Smith ran it back, I think, 14 yards or something like that. And, um, yeah, we got the ball on the 41-yard line, and uh, we ended up um, scoring down there. Um, Amari Cooper had a pretty good game. He didn't score, but he definitely set up a lot of 
points for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, getting a 32-yard pass from Dalton, getting a 14-yard pass from Dalton. Like, he was getting chunk yardage plays from Andy Dalton, and that's what you need from your number one wide receiver because um, he knows how to run routes and he knows how to get these receivers on on skates, literally. So um, that was one of the uh, bright spots on this team that I really love. Of course, Greg DeLeg doing this thing. One of his extra points got blocked, but that's not his fault. That's That's just a good play by the other team. Um, Ezekiel Elliott finally, for the first time this year, got over 100 yards rushing. 103 to be exact for the season. Um, hopefully we'll see more 100-yard games from Ezekiel Elliott. I think, you know, a lot of people have been down on him, but I'm like, you guys got to understand that there's a lot of variables to that. Um, offensive line is one. Offensive line, it, it was smart by these coaches. They called a good game. Keller Moore called a pretty decent game. Um, he was trying to be cute in some points, but I think Kellen Moore's getting a little bit better. Um, again, I told you guys he's a young offensive coordinator. It, it takes a while to, you know, get get used to the game, get used to call the plays, get used to what defenses are trying to use utilize against you. So I look at that and I say, okay, he'll be all right. Um, but with this time right now, just imagine what they can do next year when Mike McCarthy actually puts his system in. Because, again, we're not running Mike McCarthy's offense yet. We're still doing stuff from Jason Garrett era and with a few wrinkles and stuff. But that's it. It's a lot of the stuff that we were doing before on offense. That's why the offense is still clicking. They 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 didn't miss a beat because they didn't change anything pretty much. Um, but I think when Mike McCarthy implements his system after Corona is over, oh, it's, it's going to be even – you guys are going <laughs> to – just be glad that we got this coach. That's all I'm saying. Mark my words right now. A lot of you guys that, that uh, claim you don't like Michael McCarthy, you're going to like him going forward. Um, Andy Dalton, 203 yards passing, um, three touchdowns. Now, Andy Dalton played all right in this game. He played much better because the offensive line um, actually blocked for him in this game. Um, there were some passes that he missed. I think it was one to Schultz where he threw it kind of behind him and that was the actually the interception that he threw where Kendricks on the uh, Vikings actually got that um, turnover for them uh, Ezekiel Elliott got a six yard pass for a touchdown Dalton Schultz got a touchdown CeeDee Lamb that touchdown in the, in the corner of the end zone now he he not saying he ran the wrong route but he he ran the way that he angled himself was different and then Andy Dalton kind of overthrew it a little bit so what did C.D. Lamb do? Said, damn that, I'm catching this shit. So he leaned back and basically laid down. When he caught the ball, he was like literally um, horizontal to the ground. Like he he literally was was laying on the ground when he caught the ball. So um, wonderful catch. We've seen him do that um, at Oklahoma and, and in training camp with the Cowboys. So, you know, that's the first time in game we've seen that acrobatic type of move. But we know what C.D. Lamb can do. So it's shocking, but it ain't shocking. And, of course, Tony Pollard with his 47-yard touchdown run after Ezekiel Elliott had um, um, his yardage. Um, I think he had, like, 24 yards total on, on three rushes or whatever. And then Tony Pollard comes in, gets that 47-yard run for the touchdown, which is the most um, yardage at one time by a running back this year for the Cowboys. So you look at it like that, like, Ezekiel Elliott played well. He was grinding hard. And bringing in Tony Pollard for that change of pace, that's what they need to do going forward. Keep doing stuff like that because as they keep doing that, it, it is it's only going to make this offense even better. And you talk about when our starters come back, when we get the rest of our offensive line back, when we get Dak back, when we get Blake Jarwin back, <sighs> I mean, you could just imagine how much more this offense is going to be potent. But, you know, the fact that – um you got something. Dalton actually did something in this game. I still like Garrett Gilbert, but either or, you still got him and and Garrett is a, and Garrett is the backup. So uh, I think that um, this team is gelling. They're finally coming together, and we'll see what what goes on um, going forward. We got a short week because we got to turn right back around and play on Thanksgiving this Thursday against the Washington Football Team. Now. I made a bet with my mom, so my mom is, I don't know why she's a Washington fan, because we're not technically from here. She's supposed to be a Bears fan, but since she's been living here for so long now, she just kind of just 
switched over to her area's team. I get it, but I'm not doing that. I will never sell out my team. But I told her if, if the Cowboys win, she's going to have to um, wear one of my Cowboys shirts or, or jerseys or whatever. So And take a picture with it and put it on Facebook. So that's it. That's all I told her. You know, it's just a little friendly bet between mother and son. It is what it is. Now, I told her if the Washington win, she got a Washington hat. I said I'll wear it or whatever and take a picture. I don't want to do that. So the Cowboys better win on Thanksgiving. How about that? So I like what I saw with the game. Um, the defense was playing physical. Offense was coming together. Offensive line was playing much better, and that's key. Um, the fact that they moved – Zach Martin, the right tackle, and they slid in Connor McGovern in his, in his guard spot, uh, made all the difference in the world. So I just think that um, going forward, if this team keeps making adjustments, we'll be fine. So um, I'll be doing more videos before the Washington game. Like I said, it's a short week, so it's a quick turnaround. So enjoy the, enjoy the win. There's no two days of celebrating for the win. You celebrate now after today. Tomorrow, we're on to Washington. So, with that being said, y'all, it's your boy E2 Blue, always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon.